the need behind this programme was a real desire to go again at looking at Asda's culture. We felt that we were starting to just dilute some of the things we've always been really proud about in the past. So Asda approached us, um, clearly very thoughtful already about diversity and inclusion, but they wanted us to create work that looked at what does it really mean to be inclusive? What's the role of bias? And what are the individual and team things that we can do that would make a really big difference? When we started talking to Steps about what actually this training could look like, um, they talked to us about obviously how they use live interaction and took us through the Steps to Change model of see it, own it, change it, live it, um, which we really loved and really embraced. We followed, as we always do, um, our four steps to lasting behaviour change. So we held up a very carefully researched mirror to those people at ASDA in the hope that they would see themselves as the scenarios played out. I think drama as a medium to help get on the skin of issues, to help people develop in organisations is really impactful. I can't work late. Look, look, Pooja, we need to be a team in this, OK? I'm having to work If you late, get the right squad, which I believe we did with Steps, you actually get people who really um, spot the nuances of your culture and how your people behave and make it really real. So actually you start to feel that you're talking and interacting with real colleagues. Look, I've just had Joe on the phone. He's going to do a store visit tomorrow morning. It is really quite different from what we've done before in the business. Often when you go to training sessions, what you're talking about is it's very understandable, but it can be a little bit abstract from, from your organisation. This this wasn't it had real relevance to, to how we work and, and how we are in Asda. It was really different. It was a really innovative way of doing um, doing a, a session like this. They were making you feel a little bit uncomfortable in your seat, and you could really think about it and and go, yeah, I, I've probably done that. I absolutely loved it. I loved it. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of laughter. I thought the acting was super. It really brought to life situations within the company and it was also had a bit of a shock factor. It just really opened my eyes to, right, we need to do something different here. Look, tell him I want it on my desk, 12 noon latest, yes? Will do. So one of the big challenges was how do we reach thousands of people in ASDA with a consistent message around inclusive leadership? So face-to-face -face stuff with the senior leadership, but we also created a set of videos based on the same scenarios that the senior leadership had been exploring, but with a facilitator guide to enable them to have local conversations in various bits of ASDA around, well, what does this mean for us? So we filmed in stores, we filmed in depots and we did film in our home office environment and really adapted the situations to what our colleagues were saying were the areas they wanted to explore in those areas of the business. Look, I better get back. I'll send Kev over. Thanks. Car. Beautiful, thank you. It was great that we had the videos, so we had the ready-made scenarios and we shared that out amongst the leadership team, taking different scenarios, talking about our own experience but using the actor scenarios to really facilitate the discussion and the feedback's been fantastic. It gave us as leaders and my team like an opportunity to probably challenge more. So where previously where we've just accepted and not thought about it too much, it gave us all a way in to sort of like challenge each other's behaviours. Our managers really invested and really bought into it and it is still something that people talk about now. You have people now saying, oh, that's your unconscious bias, so watch for that, which is great to see and great to see it weaving in. There's also uh, more expectation as we look up the organisation. Our colleagues know we started with the top of the organisation and they know that they have been through this experience and had these conversations. Therefore, they're going to hold our leaders' feet to the flames as well. Sometimes you can do training and then we never do any follow-up. So actually for us, it's how do we interweave unconscious bias into our policies, into our recruitment elements. Um, and the work that we've done with STEPS is going to become the normal module that we have in our academies for all new managers to our business. Because it just makes sure that everyone is coming into our business understands the direction of travel that we're going on to truly build the inclusive culture that we want. If you want to make an impact, if you want to do something which will start a conversation that will never end and that will really poke people between the eyes at times, working in this way, working with steps and using drama as your uh, mechanism to really hold and shine that light is a really powerful way of doing that.